Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you why the Area 51 Game Pass, the Invincibility Star, is no longer in the game. This Game Pass used to be the most powerful Game Pass in the game. Clicking with just one click would give you like double the speed and it would immediately kill anyone that the star touches. It was an incredibly overpowered Game Pass. Let's run back and try to figure out why this item wasn't just nerfed, but absolutely wiped off the game. Although, to give you guys an idea of how this item used to function, here's a clip of me using it a couple years ago. As you can see, off spawn, I am able to kill any killers I run into when holding out the star. When using the star, it lights up and makes the player much faster and invincible until it expires. And to give you any context here, the star would take like 10 to 15 seconds to expire. It was there for a long time. You, the player who was using it, would have this these advantages for literally lot of time and it, it was very hard for killers to escape um so although this game pass made spawn killing very difficult for killers which was really nice this gear was a big problem on killer mode especially since a whole team are killers on killer mode people wouldn't use it until they got close to killers and it really made the game unfair uh on, <laughs> as you can see here um the visibility star music was a terrifying thing to hear if you were on the killer team. You had to literally hide until the music was done. Because if you were around someone with the star, you just die. And you'd have to restart and just it, it'd show your death on the literal menu. The massive advantage this game pass gave led to people complaining, especially for killer mode's sake. Eventually, the invisibility star did actually get nerfed in killer mode. It did get nerfed for a little bit, for a short period of time. Uh, instead of insta-killing people, it drained the killer's health whenever someone held it out. Um, so it, it was a nice change, but it was still problematic because the Invincibility Star is an item from the Mario series, and the whole purpose of it is literally to be powerful. Um, I'm pretty sure in some of the games that I used to play, it would insta-kill, like, enemies, basically. It would knock them off of the map. Um, so, nerfing an item that is meant to be overpowered makes the item just feel weird. The star became awkward to use when it didn't do its main purpose. As chasing people with the star, it felt like you were actually the killer chasing the killer. Like... It, it felt like you were doing the killer's role because literally you're the one chasing them. It, it just, it felt really off to me at least. Um, I think it felt off for a lot of people though. Um, don't get me wrong though, the star was still very powerful. You still got that speed and that invincibility. It's just that the main purpose was contradicted. Another reason it got deleted was that it was made by Nintendo who could potentially force Area 51's deletion if he kept it in the game. Nintendo was copyright striking a lot of games at the time who had their characters and other things. And the Invincibility Star is based off of Nintendo Star. So that is, that is a big <laughs> that is a big problem, especially if, you know, Area 51's existence is threatened. Uh, but the main reason it's kind of gone or overall the concept was flawed, and the gear did not fit in with Area 51, so Homer removed it, and he replaced it. What did he replace it with? A landmine. Although this upset many people, the landmine is actually quite useful and shows up in almost every game mode. The Invincibility Star was only in Classic and Killer mode. It was not in Endless. The landmine's in Endless now. The landmine's in Juggernaut. It's in so many different modes now. And honestly, it's really useful, um, especially in Juggernaut. I love it in Juggernaut. Um, not as the Juggernaut, but you know. <laughs> I do not personally use the landmine, of course, all the time. Maybe in Juggernaut's the main re mode I'll use it in, but it is more balanced and helpful 
in its own ways. I'm happy that Homer changed this to a more balanced weapon, especially since the same game pass that is the landmine used to be the star. Homer could have been greedy and deleted the star and made a whole new game pass, but he wanted people who purchased the star to get something. And I really appreciate Homer for not doing that. I'm, I appreciate him giving people who had the star the landmine in compensation, especially since the star was super powerful. Uh, the players or the survivors lost a lot of power when the star was removed, but, you know, I think it was really worth it. Um, it made killer mode much more balanced. It's still not balanced, but it's it's more balanced. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Paparagon maybe is another, another story, but yeah. The invincibility star is not coming back. It is, it is something that just didn't fit in. Homer said that it didn't fit the concept of Area 51, and... I honestly agree. I, I, I approve of Homer's decision. I think it was the right decision to move on from it. Um, I know a lot of people are upset, but yeah, I, I really do appreciate um, Homer thinking about it and really, you know, looking into it. Um, especially since, you know, this gear had so many problems, this game pass at least. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And like the video to show support. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.